Another important thing we do is we pre-teach key vocabulary and we're very strategic because you cannot teach a lot of words at once. So we pick the key science concepts and the domain specific vocabulary associated with those concepts and we pre-teach them but in a way that doesn't require the children to have too much knowledge of the word. Uh, it's very challenging because they're not going to really understand these complex domain specific words until they've engaged in inquiry based activities. But we ask, I probably have to show you an example, but we, we do teach them about the word and ask them to draw on background knowledge. So for example, if we're studying um, ecological systems, we might show kids a picture of an ecological system, explain that an ecological system is composed of these certain plants and animals, then ask them to do partner talk and talk about, you know, what features they can, um, what, what, what are the features of the ecological systems that surround them. So an example of sort of showing them an ecological system that might be a desert or might be something that's not that familiar to them, but then asking them to apply that concept to something that is familiar. Uh, with the general academic vocabulary, what we do is we really put our text through the academic word list um, and it highlights for us the general vocabulary words that are high frequency across informational text or across text in general. And we tend to pre-teach that vocabulary. And what's interesting is we only, we only pick, you can't teach all of that vocabulary. You'd be teaching, you know, 20 words to these English learners or 30 words. But it turns out in our research that you can do a lot of explicit instruction of these um, general academic vocabulary words. It takes a lot of time, so you've got to str be strategic about which you pick. So you want them to be high frequency. You want them to... Um, kids have a harder time acquiring vocabulary if it's abstract, so we tend to pick words that are more abstract. Uh, and for other words, it turns out that if you define those words in context, as you're reading, as you're talking about them, and give children exposure to sort of these definitions in context with some frequency, children actually acquire these word meanings. So for example, general academic words that we might teach would be words that not only appear in the text, but appear frequently in the assessments that students will be taking that are aligned with that subject matter. So words like analyze, words like evaluate um, are some examples of the general academic vocabulary words that we might teach.